lady in your lone good suit and walking down 7th Avenue to show her off, you would walk 15 blocks. Sometime when you had a dollar or so to spend, you would take on the 5th Avenue open bus all the way down to New York University and all the way back. And she was satisfied, and the whole evening, you hadn't spent a dollar. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, you didn't have one. They sure don't make ladies like that anymore. <laughs> There was a time there were three functioning vaudeville theaters in Harlem, all well patronized. The Lafayette, Harlem Opera House, and the Apollo. The old Lincoln Theater, now a church, used to be a legitimate theater where the plays downtown would be brought uptown with the play with the black cast. And that was our Broadway. I got involved with the communists and the socialists and other radicals. And I began to read literature on the Russia of that day and to see movies about Russia. And I was never a member of the communist or the socialist party. I was active briefly in the Young Communist League. We were looking for a way out of the condition in which we live. And they opened doors for us and gave us a platform we otherwise did not have. Paul Robeson was the one artist who made the great sacrifice based on commitment. And that commitment is that an artist is supposed to use his or her art to change the society in which they live. W.E.B. Du Bois was our greatest single intellect we produced in the whole of the Western world. And he's not just a black American intellect. He is an American intellect equal to any. W.E.B. Du Bois, Paul Robeson, the party came closest to what those men wanted to stand for in the world was a fair deal for the working people of the world. We would examine it later to our sorrow that we were in an argument between not a liberator and an oppressor, but two oppressors with different techniques and methodology of oppression. In the final analysis, Russia did not want us to be free any more than in the United States and England and the imperial powers, but they wanted us under their domination. I never thought the left movement, communists or socialists, made any serious study of the history and the background of the African people of the world. And they had a preconceived notion of us that had nothing to do with our reality. And these African communal societies, who each got according to his needs, were not copied from Europe because they existed before there was a Europe. In these societies, based on the concept of the family and the community, everyone in the society had a responsibility. And in these societies, there was no word for jail because no one had ever gone to one. No word for orphanage because no one had ever thrown away any children. No word for old people's home because no one had ever thrown away grandma and grandpa. And while I had some admiration for the conclusion of Karl Marx. I dare to say he was a political opportunist in the Johnny Come Lately because he was rehashing something that was in the world before the first European war shoe lived in the house that had a window.
during my early years in high